A new space observatory, quietly launched and largely unnoticed by the public, has begun sending back images so vast, so intricate, and so profoundly revealing that even the most seasoned astronomers admit they were unprepared for what they discovered. This is the Euclid Space Telescope. Its first, light, images did far more than capture beautiful galaxies and nebulae shimmering in the cosmic darkness. They unveiled hidden structures, patterns sculpted by forces we cannot see, and a universe far more complex, intricate, and unsettling than we had ever imagined. Unlike telescopes that focus on a single nebula or a single iconic galaxy, Euclid's mission is ambitious on a scale that borders on audacious. It was designed to map the universe itself, not small fragments, but the grand architecture that shapes all of existence. Launched by the European Space Agency in July 2023, Euclid now drifts nearly 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, positioned at the Lagrange 2 point, a vantage so distant and stable that it can gaze at the cosmos uninterrupted for months at a time. Its remarkably wide field of view allows it to capture immense swaths of the sky in a single sweep, while simultaneously resolving the tiniest galactic details. This combination offers something unprecedented, the ability to observe both the universe's grand design and its smallest constituents at once. What makes Euclid profoundly unsettling is that it does not just map what emits light. It maps the invisible. By measuring subtle distortions in the shapes of distant galaxies caused by gravitational lensing, the telescope exposes the hidden web of dark matter, the scaffolding of the universe that shapes all we see. For the first time, humanity is observing the skeleton of the cosmos, built from a substance we cannot touch, see, or fully comprehend. When Euclid returned its first massive mosaic of the southern sky, scientists were stunned into silence. In a single short observation, it stitched together hundreds of images, covering an area of sky hundreds of times larger than the full moon, revealing millions of galaxies. And yet, this represents only 1% of the telescope's planned survey. The realization is chilling. What we see now is just a fragment of an incomprehensibly vast and complex cosmos. Some of the earliest insights came from the Perseus Cluster located roughly 240 million light-years away. Within a single frame, Euclid captured over a thousand known galaxies and more than 100,000 faint background galaxies beyond them. But the true surprise emerged when astronomers examined the data more closely. Hundreds of previously unknown dwarf galaxies were hiding within the cluster, faint and elusive, only now revealed. These tiny galaxies, almost invisible to previous telescopes, are exquisitely sensitive to dark matter. Their shapes and motions act like cosmic tracers, revealing where invisible mass is concentrated. The sheer number of these dwarfs suggests that dark matter's structure is far more intricate and tangled than we ever imagined. Closer to home, Euclid's discoveries are equally astonishing. In neighboring galaxies, it detected ancient, low-metallicity stars, relics from the universe's early days. In globular clusters, faint stars long lost in the glare of their brighter companions were finally resolved, providing unprecedented insight into the Milky Way's history. Even familiar regions like the Horsehead Nebula revealed surprises, Euclid's sensitivity hints at free-floating planetary mass objects drifting through the void, rogue planets that may be far more common than once believed. As scientists stitched together more of Euclid's observations, an astonishing and unsettling pattern became impossible to ignore. Galaxies are not scattered randomly across space. They trace colossal filaments stretching hundreds of millions of light years, converging at dense nodes where clusters form. This vast lattice, known as the cosmic web, becomes painfully clear in Euclid's images. Matter flows along invisible pathways, dominated by dark matter. Everything luminous in the universe is trapped within this structure, 